my G's, we're back in New York City. Right now, we're gonna walk to Milk Bar. So Milk Bar is a delicious place for wonderful desserts. We've been wanting to go forever. I saw it in Chef's Table and it looks incredible. You know what they do with it, right? No. They pour milk into cereal and they let it sit there mm -hmm. because there's nothing better than the milk after eating cereal, right? Yeah. It's, it's soaked up all the sugar and things oh, like that. Oh, yeah, that's like so their they, secret so sauce. Then, then they take that milk that's been soaking in cereal and they pour it into a soft serve machine and they create soft serve ice cream that tastes like cereal milk. And that that is fucked up and delicious at the same time. So we're gonna go get a stomach ache right now. And then afterwards, we're gonna go see Brian Miller at Manhattan Motors. I don't know if you guys know, Brian is the one responsible for getting the SVJ, the Lamborghini SVJ, that's coming on next year to the to the garage. So should be fun and he's got pretty much every brand. We're gonna go check him out, so. Wait, yes? wait, Milk Bar is not in Chelsea by any chance, is it? I have no idea why. There's a lot of them. Because it's Milk Bar, you milk things, it's in Chelsea, there's a lot of... That pigeon's just fucking chilling. Wait. That's an Italian pigeon. Hey, what are you looking at over here? <laughs> Very New York thing to do. Whenever you see the light right there that it's telling you not to cross, you gotta cross when it's red. Otherwise, you're not from here. It's New York, yeah, you look like a tourist. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> even know how many luxury apartments they could have built right here and there's no one even playing and right there's now. no one even playing people i know i like basketball too i've actually eaten here before i was pitching something to jay-z <laughs> I was pitching something to someone here that worked for Jay-Z yeah. and that didn't go well. That's that's why I know this restaurant. So. Why is there Le Pan Quotidien or however the fuck you pronounce that restaurant in every corner in New York? They don't serve anything but toast with avocado. Legit, like nothing. I don't... And they have even a mobile, they had a mobile one. What is your favorite food from... Uh... Toast and avocado. <laughs> This is where Farshad learned everything he knows. Absolutely. What? That is where you learn everything I, I, you know. I, I'm not dramatic. You must know these guys, Farshad. <laughs> See, that's a different journey. You always say you want to find a rugged man to get into a fight. Oh, right? not, no, no way, dude. No way. No way. I want nothing to do with that, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> go, 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 go. People in New York know what's up. He ain't getting out. Oh no, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. This is soothing and relaxing. Bargain, you were looking for a mask. Would this one do? No, 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 no. This one? It reveals too much, no. It's not your thing? <laughs> okay. That's it. Milk. Hey, I haven't had milk in a long time. I mean, I haven't had milk in a long time. <laughs> So before we go in, Pargini, they have yeah. a thing called the crack pack. What? Based, based on all of our jokes, do you agree that's the thing we should have? The, the crack pie. It's right, it says right there, crack pie. You can only have the crack pie. I just really hope it doesn't ruin my life. We did it, we got our bag, and the, the one thing we need to do right now is eat it like New Yorkers. <laughs> exactly. Is it, is it amazing? Which one is this one? That's just the fudge, the chocolate ones. Yeah, get the nope. fuck out of here. Try the crack pipe. That crack pipe. Okay. Crack pipe. I'm saying pipe. <laughs> that crack pipe is incredible. All right, you gotta have this. Oh, wow. This is so rich. And everywhere you go, it's a source of inspiration. As weird and as stupid as it sounds, we're looking at that toy right there. It's a toy that kids can use as a car, so something to generate more love for cars. So, we're not saying we're gonna make that, but you see what I'm saying? You see where this is going, right?
see a helmet there. The first uh, thing I did was look to see if there was someone dead right there. No, there's no one there. Thank God. The Cosby Show. Yeah. It was based on a brownstone, like, <laughs> like one of these. So we, you either have to come down one of these while we film you going, hey, 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 or something like that, or, or we gotta do something Cosby related. Here. We shouldn't do anything Cosby you related. Gotta... Hey, hey, hey! Now look at this building. Yeah, I don't know shit about architecture, but that looks so cool. This is the best integration I've seen so far in New York. There's a Japanese and Chinese free delivery food test right here, but there's also internet service and Chinese visas. I would love to eat Chinese food and get my Chinese visa. I mean, I knew BC was famous and shit, but goddamn, they serve BC Bugatti here. I hope they have good insurance for it. So, Fargini, you see that BMW? Yeah. I believe the showroom used to be on that side. Okay. And this is the first place I ever came to New York to look at cars. Okay. I know, BMW, right after Manhattan Motors, because I went to Manhattan Motors and I asked them about the Lamborghinis and all that stuff, and a, there's a fucking R32 right here. Holy shit. Ah, oh, New Jersey place, but it's all right. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> so, uh, right after Manhattan Motors, I came right here because I was like, okay, I cannot afford one of those. I can probably buy one of these. And they were like, okay, do you have insurance? I'm like, no, but you can provide it with, right? Because in Mexico, they give you insurance at the dealership. They were like, no, we can't. They were like, you go, we'll come back whenever you get insurance. And I was like, all right. So here we are again. So by the way, guys, that's a real lesson for everyone that's coming to the US. If you guys are foreigners coming into the US, insurance is a big game here. You don't insure the car, you insure it kind of like yourself. And that's how it works. It's super expensive. If you're under 25, it's a fortune. I, I mean, I ridiculous. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. You got a modern Tesla with an old school. Look at the, look at the contrast. Oh. Look at the contrast of these two cars. El bochite. Look at that. And then the Tesla. Oh my God. There's a VW dealership right there. I do not know how good of an idea it is to have a VW store in Manhattan. Can I tell you why, Fargini? That's a beautiful Gulf R, Jesus. Because it's expensive to own a car here in Manhattan, right? And you're gonna buy a cheap car and pay all those fees. I feel like people that are buying a car here have to buy an expensive one, right? And by the way, we can't drive anything that we grab right now. <laughs> okay, this display is crazy. That's the Mercedes-Benz dealership here, and they have a floating G-Wagon. Ooh, dude, what a fucking display. I know parking's bad, but really, they gotta resort to this kind of stuff? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. What's up, brother? How are you? Good to see you. We see that you guys are bringing the Auras. Okay, so on that, as you guys are seeing, they're unloading the Auras right now behind me. We are in a different day because yesterday, as we got here, we realized that we were running late for a meeting that we forgot that we were having that day. With that said, we're back at Man uh, Manhattan Motors right now. This is where I'm getting my Lamborghini SVJ from. And uh, Brian, the owner here, invited us to come check out the cars. And I did not know they were gonna have this. And it's awesome because we haven't seen it. talk about turning things from negative to positive and this is the thing that we were saying we were so annoyed yesterday that we had to leave because we wanted to be here but if we would have done this yesterday we would have never seen the auras and i think we're going to be able to do some good videos for you guys so By the way, we already went to look at the car that we came here to look at. I mean, it's ridiculous. Argini, did you even expect what we looked at today? We can't even I, say anything I, I, about I it. I thought but. we were gonna go see one thing that everyone else had seen. Like yeah, massive yeah me That's too. I thought we yeah. were go. We saw something you ain't never seen. What the fuck was that? That was amazing to be in the room with all of us and the CEOs and the high end and the questions you got to ask and the answers. Oh, we're talking about, talking about our meeting? Well, we can't, we can't, can't say, say what anything, it but is, but. To, to be able to in, talk. Incredible. To, to be able to talk to the CEO of the company, ask him about the future and, and the the things he said was they were cool, cool, right? Thank you for letting us. Nah, thank oh, you was guys. Amazing. That was, was fun. Amazing. Now we get more now. food. Hey, Brian, oh. Brian's been doing a lot of shit for us. Yeah. I feel like, you know how everyone's saying that Galp and Beaters are sponsored? Everyone's gonna be like, Man, Ed Motors is sponsoring you hey, guys. more sponsors, the better. I know. What's so wrong hey, about hey, sponsors? You know what? He if you guys want to be a sponsor to the show, no, I'm just kidding. I hope you guys are ready for this one because Fargini and I just got the keys to the 
Centenario. I've actually never sat in one of these. Have you, Fargini? Not, and you know what? I'm not going to. I can't miss the floor. This is all carbon fiber. It's most likely. So for those of you guys who don't know, this is the V12 version, special edition of the Aventador. So this is the Aventador S with a body kit, if you will, and a new interior and some other, you know, little tricks, but it does have rear wheel steering. It's a V12 naturally aspirated car. It's an all carbon fiber body here. And I believe they want $4 million for this fucking thing. They want carbon fiber money for this thing. <laughs> You get the same Lamborghini key that you get for my other car. Ooh. Oh, this is literally just like an Aventador. And the door is so light. Ooh. This is the one thing though. If you're gonna get a car that's designed by someone, right? Are you gonna go with a small company or are you gonna go get a special edition of a car that's already epic and get it done by Lamborghini, for example? And it has a warranty and service center. I know, and I used to be of the other school of thought where I was like, this is dumb, why are you building these stupid cars? They're 20 of a kind, but they're the same car. I get it now. Well, you've gone through the cycle now. Yes, you understand. I get it now. I, I, I unfortunately get it now, guys, and uh, it's okay. making me feel old and nervous and have we mentioned you're getting an SVJ? Have we mentioned that? Yeah, so I'm buying my SVJ from Brian. So let me show you. We're right here, Manhattan Motors, in their showroom. And this is why we have access, because Brian's really nice. I was watching a video of it, mm -hmm. going through Nurburgring. That's going to be a fun car. That's going to be Because we love, we love Lambos, we love the doors, and now the car actually meets your level of performance, right? That's going to be a fun car. It's going to be insane. And now look at, oh, Fargini. Fargini, look at this door, dude. This is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter what other carbon fiber car company that you're looking at this is really well built look at the wing how insane that is what is this oh that's for you to put your bike on so you put your bike up no i'm just kidding i have oh, no God. idea oh, no God. idea <laughs> this is actually fucking insane right do you agree like this is this is not normal none of this shit is normal look at this and hang on i have the key so i can probably do this <gasps> Holy shit! And that one's also new. Damn, that's a dope ass screen. Do you think it works? Yep, it works really well. So you have telemetry now included in the car. Telemetry is for whenever you're going in the in the track, and then it grabs all of your performance uh, as far as how fast you're turning, how fast you lapped, uh, how much G forces you're putting on on uh, lateral G forces, and all that stuff. So there you go, and they have some tracks right here. That's so fucking cool. And look at. All of this. You don't want to sit in the car? I, I honestly can't just tell you. I'm being dead serious. I'm standing next to it. I'm like, this is too valuable for me to fuck up. I'm being dead serious. We already had it. We already. He had really a close, gets nervous. We already had a close where call. Where we were, we where a, we were, we were just standing in between a table and a little showpiece. Yeah. And Bargini walked a, a little bit, of, and a half a million dollar watch almost popped down. So uh, I'm, I'm, you're good. Yeah, I'm good. You're good to go. Yeah. Okay. And also, I love this detail. Do you agree? The carbon detail right here. Centenario. They pull the stuff I'm doing that. By the way. I'm doing a Persian thing. I'm rubbing the whole car. I feel hey, this is like a customer's car, so I'm sorry. Hey, not yet. This is so damn cool, dude. And then Fargini, come on in here with me. This right here has 400 miles. A Bugatti Bay Run. 2010 Bugatti Bay Run. There's something about this car that I don't know what it is that's got me like a more and more confused. With Bugattis? I know. Me too. Especially the Bay Run, like it's now becoming like a classic. And I think you're not gonna get any more depreciation like it's flattening out than what it is, right? I don't know what it is about this spec specifically, Fargetti, but the gray and the black is just... You know what I love? I, I can't say who said what, whatever, but yeah. one very high up at a very high up company today said that every one of these that they make has to not age and last forever. Yeah. And in 30, 40 years must be worth a 
tremendous amount of money. Yeah. So now this is a Veyron, guys. We've seen the Veyron before. This is not the Chiron. This is the one before the Chiron. And I'm going to open the door because, again, I'm in love with this color combination. But you know what? Actually, this no, is no, no, your no. specialty. No, no, no. This is, no, no. This See? is for a Jetta. And there you go. No, that's actually that's the right. Bugatti key. <laughs> That's a... This is the supercar world, the supercar market always has like these weird fucking things. Yeah. And one of them was, for a long time, car makers got super lazy with their keys. This is straight up a Jetta key. Like straight up the curvature here. It's like, it's like <laughs> yeah, no, they just is, change a little thing it's, here. It's just, Even the panic button is yeah, the yeah, same. Yeah. So I want to show you guys real quick, just interior super fast. This is ridiculous. I don't know, it's like an older man's car. And just for you guys who are watching and don't understand what a Bugatti is, Bugatti is made in France. Bugatti was acquired by VW years and years ago. And the way to look at it, the way to look at these cars is basically like you're driving a Bentley, a very expensive Bentley that can go 300 miles an hour, that can accelerate from zero to 60 in like one second. Like a car that's so, the fastest Bentley in the world. They're supposed to be reliable, comfortable, and delicious to drive, while also giving you the most insane performance out of anything on earth. And until you get into one of these cars, because for me, it was the same thing. I always said, who the fuck buys a Bugatti? Like, why would you want to spend $2 million in a car that just goes fast? But once you get in one and you understand how comfortable they are, how much you can use them, and how incredible they feel, and truly how well engineered they are, and how fast they are, and the white glove service, it kind of makes sense. As much as it hurts to say, because I'm super cheap. <laughs> it kind of makes sense. Tell them some of the maintenance so they understand. So for example, if you're gonna do an oil change in one of these Bugattis, it would be $21,000. And, and how often do you have to do them? Uh, well, at least once a year, once a at year. least once a year. So every three years, at the very least, if you don't drive the car, you have to change all of the wheels and that's $120,000. So it's a very expensive car to run. And this is the old one. On the new one, they took all of the prices down for everything, but still. The Urus is right here. The Lamborghini uterus. Look at this. Look at the blue, look at the blue leather seats. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. The screen looks amazing. I just wanna film this, man. Get in um, I just wanna film this. This is the Lamborghini Urus, homie. God, look at the GPS screen. Look at the, hey, look there's at, the, there's a screen and a screen and then another screen and another screen and then there's more screens. I need more screens. I love what they did with the buttons. I mean, talk about high end. I was really, and by the way, I have not seen the new Q7. So before you guys tell me anything, these buttons are so epic. There's just so much money being spent on the car. And that's the big difference. Now, all of these cars, People are really putting money behind them, and it shows. It's well, nice and comfortable too, which I'm amazed by this. Number one, look at all the Lamborghini lines that we are able to see right here, right? So on the door, they still have the, the six angles right here. And then these are Audi. Instantly, you can see them, a little Bentley. These are brand new, guys, and these look amazing. As soon as you put your hand around them, they light up. They're happy. Have you noticed? Well. Yeah, press they give you a little feedback whenever you press them. And it's just one thing. E each one feels like a button. The vents themselves, and then hang on a second. I'm gonna obviously do the Lamborghini thing. Ooh, look at that. I love that they went in and kept the, the hardcore Lamborghini-ness right there. There's absolutely no need for that, but who cares? Your gas levels are gonna be right here. This is obviously your revs, and I'm guessing all of your other screens are gonna be right here, and these are your controls for everything. On the steering wheel, the steering wheel is freaking epic. Hey, 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 we'll get to start it. Do we really? We'll get to start it. So apparently sports sounds better. Hang on, how can you go up? You can't? Oh, so we're gonna start the car in sport because apparently in sport it sounds better. I love these V8s twin turbos. It's so rumbly. It's rumbly and yeah. nice. 
I'm gonna turn it off. I feel yeah. bad for everyone because we're inside. Look at the AC unit thing. Holy shit! Butt warmers and, and oh, everything's got feedback. Everything, oh, everywhere where you click, there's a button. It feels like there's a button in every single screen that you're clicking on. I love that. By the way, this is a thing that a BlackBerry Storm did for the first time before any other phone. The ability to do haptic feedback. Let's just hope it doesn't end the same way as BlackBerry. It won't. Hey, I can't it wait. Won't. I can't wait for the Balboni exhaust to come out on this. <laughs> I actually really think Belen's gonna like this. Oh, absolutely. She definitely will. After right? driving the Performante, yeah. being able to put this in SUV form, yeah. I'm over. Yeah, I, I think Belen's gonna like this. I'm gonna show her this before she gets her G-Wagon. Now look at the steering wheel. I love that he's got a flat bottom and then right here all of the buttons that you see. And also heated steering wheel, people. Look at the paddles. God, those <laughs> look so cool. Yet, whenever you press them, they don't feel epic like pulling a full paddle but sturdy, sturdy as hell. This is where you have every, so you have your reverse right here, which is kind of awesome. Then you have your suspension modes and right here, your driving modes. As you can tell, there's so many of them because it's an off-roading vehicle. Down here, uh, parking brake, cameras, uh, no idea. <laughs> Would you like to be the world's first person to do a trunk challenge in a Lamborghini Urus? Has no one really done that? No. Who's, done a, no. who's done a trunk who's challenge? Who's done that? Who's done that? I don't know. There's there's a few people that do things that we do online. Yeah, this has to be BP certified. Yeah. The fuck is BP certified? Should we have you doing the trunk no, challenge? No, 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 you, no, no This no, is no, you. No, no, this no, is no, you. No, bad things would happen. And also, this guy, and also, I don't need to come back through the border. In a I truck. don't need to come back on the border. man. I'm still gonna do it though. Hey, you know what? I can live here now. Someone called my wife and tell her that I'm moving out. I want to see on the on the back how you like how much space there is. Ooh, and there are screens. Hey, there's a lot of headroom on the back. Guys, this is a beautiful truck. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not a truck. This is a beautiful SUV. Have you sat on the back yet? Oh dude, this is You really fit there, no problem. I just heard they just told me how many of these they pre-sold already. It's gonna double. Lamborghini that sales in general, that, yeah, right? It, it, it's doubling. The gross. This car mm -hmm. is gonna fuel the development of the future Lamborghini. Absolutely. It's true Lamborghini. Yeah. What this is gonna do, it's gonna do exactly what the Cayenne did for Porsche. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And you know, and you know, you know what that ended up doing? We wound up with the 918.